One Piece. One Piece is peak fiction. That's just facts, and I won't hear otherwise. No, 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 yes. Fanboying besides, I adore One Piece. I've been watching it since I was little, which means, yes, I had to endure the infamous 4Kids dub. <laughs> if you can't pay the cash, then you're out with the trash. And feel free to quote me. Yeah! B, it's good to see you, buddy. So as a veteran fan, I am confident in claiming that perhaps the most central theme in One Piece is freedom. Of course, that's not a shocker to anyone that's watched a bit of the series. It's quite literally everywhere. Each character exemplifying a different aspect of what it means to be free. Free to carry on another's will. Free from your own fear. Free from your bloodline. Free from oppression. Free from prejudice. Free to live. Free to pursue your dreams. Free from isolation. Heck, the reason why Luffy even wants to be the Pirate King is because in his eyes, that's who's most free. With that addressed, we now turn to a character equally beloved as well as hated. Yamato, daughter of Kaido and the one who carries the will of Odin. Well, sort of. Real quick, if you like One Piece or just thoughtful analyses of anime and video games, drop a like and subscribe. Thanks. Refocused, not a lot is known about the Oni princess's background. We do know that she spent almost her entire life kept in isolation on Onigashima, Kaido's base of operations. However, she did have the privilege to witness the Chad Odin's final hour on Wano, which would forever change her life which I get, it still gives me chills. This man's unbreakable resolve and devotion moved her from tears to idolization. She would find Odin's logbook, which held the story of his adventurous life and many colorful tales of foreign lands and strange people. Basically, she got to read One Piece, the prequel, which I'm sure we all wish we could too. Now a weeb, she began to love the land of Wano and the samurai way of life, associating with Odin because she too longed to see this grand world that she could only read about. But this put her at odds with her father, the unstoppable power that backed up Orochi's oppression. 100 beasts, land, air, and sea, if it's a 1v1, always bet on Kaido. Her love for Odin greatly angered Kaido, whose plan was to raise and force Yamato to be the next shogun of Wano under his control. So he chained her with cuffs that would explode if she pursued a life of her own choosing and left the island. On top of that, to make the point that freedom would never be hers, Yamato was put in a prison with captured rebel samurai and left to starve. Kaido joins the Deadbeat Dad Society. Despite this, she would survive. As she grew stronger, she would challenge her beast of a dad over and over again to no success. Time would pass and one day Ace would come to Onigashima to fight Kaido, not knowing he wasn't there. Thankfully, because Ace would have been bonked to the moon. Yamato and him would clash and soon they realized that there was no ill will between them. In fact, it was the opposite. Yamato and Ace would spend the night sharing stories, particularly about Odin and Luffy. Yamato would be brought to tears hearing Luffy's dream. 
all these great men, Odin, Whitebeard, Roger, Ace, Luffy, they were all so unshackled, unrestrained, so free, but she was not. Ace promised to return and take Yamato into his crew to see the world she dreamed of, but that would never come to be. As we can see, Yamato is a tragic heroine. She is bound in every way. Bound by her familial ties, by physical chains, by isolation, by expectations, and then even by her idolization, her very self-perception is bound. And yet, she carries the will of Odin. Or at least half of it, like I said earlier. From my interpretation, it seems to me that it is both Momonosuke and Yamato that carries Odin's will. Odin was an embodiment of freedom and childlike curiosity, this is certain. But he also was the embodiment of duty and leadership to all of Wano. Selfish, yet selfless. It is these two sides, or ideals that both Momo and Yamato must carry onward. Momo's arc has all been about understanding the weight of the Kurozumi name, of his father's legacy, how to manage all those expectations and fulfill an impossible duty, to be a leader with no equal, to surpass even his father. His obstacles are more internal, fear, anxiety, despair. But that's not Yamato. She carries on the will of Odin's adventurous spirit, this call to leave behind or overcome all that keeps you from pursuing your dreams, which One Piece is all about. Momo must learn what it means to grow up and be a man, to bear responsibility. Yamato must Tsunachi, or throw away your name and wits, to become more childlike and go into this great and exciting unknown, the sea. Another thematic parallel is on how in the past it was the Shogun who had to leave Wano, and the Oni had to stay. But with Momo and Yamato, it is the reverse. The Shogun must stay, and the Oni must leave. And so Yamato embodies the very core theme of One Piece, and with her on track to joining the Straw Hats, I can't wait to see how her character arc plays out, as well as to see her reactions to finally seeing the outside world. Is what I'd love to say, but for some reason Oda or his editors decide to ruin Yamato completely by having her stay in Wano. Personally, I wanted her to join the crew. I think having a third woman who's actually strong yet goofy would have been a nice final addition, and thematically she fits right in. But, even if not with Luffy, she should have at least set sail some other way. She actually said she was going to five times. To stay and explore Wano is a terrible reason when you examine what she represents as a character. People theorize many reasons why Oda decided to just drop an obvious plot point and popular character, but whatever that reason is, we've just got to accept that it is what it is. And what it is, is just disappointing. But what do you think? Some in the community are coping, others are seething, and some are celebrating. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below.